So let's start uh, trying to solve the question we had left yesterday, which was I am 30 years old currently and plan to retire at the age of 55. Post retirement, I want to receive 25 lakhs per annum for the next 20 years. I am willing to invest rupees 2 lakhs each year over the next 15 years. How much will I need to invest each year during the remaining years to meet my goals, assuming investment returns of 10% can be earned on this portfolio? So the problem as it states, it basically looks at uh, the time frame or uh, you know the highlights that have been mentioned here. This is the period for which we have to clearly predict what is going to be the investment that I have to do in. So this has three parts to the overall problem. The first part is calculating present value of the retirement annuity, which is this portion, year 55 onwards. Then we calculate future value of the amount that we have invested here and we try and equate these two at year 45. Fine, so let's solve them one by one and we'll get to the answer. So the first thing we try to do is find the present value of the retirement annuity. How do I do that? Technically I can use the present value formula given here. Uh, if you want we can try this. Automatically otherwise uh, I would go ahead and use the NPV function for now from Excel to understand what's happening and then eventually you could also try using the other formula. So this is the rate. I will go ahead and select all the cells here. Close, enter. Note that this is present value at 55. Fine. Now present value at 55 does not really help me too much because I don't have what is necessary at 45. So I have to first equate all of this to present value at 45. Correct? The missing annuities start at the beginning of the 46th year or at the end of the 45th year. Basically 46th year onwards is where the missing annuity would start. So effectively I would want to find the present value that is missing there. Right? So let me just calculate present value at 45 years. How do I do that? I just take this number, divide by 1 plus 10 percent to the power 10, correct? So I get this number which is 82.1 lakhs is the present value of the retirement cash flows at the year 45, correct? So present value of all these cash flows at this point is what I have calculated. Let's now go ahead and calculate the future values of all these cash flows which will again come at the point 45 years. So just at the end of 45 years, let's take and try and solve part 2 which is going to be future value of the formula at this thing. So what is the future value formula? Let's try and calculate that. So 1 plus R is equal to 1 plus 10 percent. This 1 plus r to the power n, remember in this case is 15 years, so this to the power 15. 15 years because it starts 31 and ends at 45, so n changes to 15 years in this case, correct? I subtract 1 from this, so that gives me this minus 1. I divide this, so I have gotten the numerator now for this. So this portion, the numerator is now available with me. I will now divide with this rate here. So let's divide with the rate to get the entire present value, future value factor. I divide this by 10%. When I multiply with this with each annuity, I will get the future value at 45, which is equal to this multiplied by the annuity. So 63.54 is the future value of all these cash flows as I end. So let me just try and elaborate on that. What does this mean? What this effectively means that this set of cash flows would end up giving me 63.5 lakhs at the end of 45 years. This set of cash flows will need 82.1 lakhs at the same time. So what I need to save between years 46 and 55 should have a present value 
of the difference of these two terms which is roughly about this 18 lakhs or something so roughly about 18 lakhs we'll try and calculate that this is the present value that this entire equation should have and whatever has this present value I have to solve for the annuity in that context correct so present value of this entire annuity stream from 46 to 55 should be the dis difference of these two am I am I clear in this so effectively the present value of cash flow the annuity one which starts from 31st year to 45th year is this value the the future value of this at the age of 45 the present value of the final retirement annuity that I have to calculate at the age of 45 is this much the difference is what is to be funded using the new annuity so let's try and solve for that now so let's erase that and try and solve for this so what I'm looking at the third part is that present value at 45 should be equal to of the new annuity of annuity 2 should be equal to this minus this which is 18.51 this is the present value number I need to solve for a once again let's try and solve for 1 plus R so this is equal to 110 percent 1 plus R to the power n remember this time n is 10 so to the power 10 only 10 years from years 45 to 55 so I solve for that I take the reciprocal of this so it is 1 divided by this this is the reciprocal I subtract this from 1 so 1 minus this this part is the numerator of the equation 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power n this is what I get as the numerator as I divide this number by the rate which is this divided by r here it gives me the entire present value factor which when multiplied by annuity should give me this present value correct now in this case what I will have to do is I have the present value I have to divide this by 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power n whole divided by r which is the discount factor that we have calculated 6.14 so this is equal to PV by 6.14 or 18.5 by 6.14 that should give me my answer so if I solve for this effectively what we are doing is that the annuity is equal to 18.51 divided by this which is 3.01 lakhs every year if I save 3 lakhs every year for these 10 years that equivalently will be you know enough to give me this 25 lakhs of cash flows all the way till the end till the age of 75